Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Arnel, and today we will start series for financial accounting problem solving. If you're new here in my channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you would be uh, notified every time I upload new videos. Okay, let's start with the problem number one. You know guys, every time I solve problems in accounting, I usually start reading or uh, I usually read first what is the requirement. In this problem, um, the requirement is what total amount should be reported as current asset on December 31, 2020. At least I set my mind that the requirement is only current assets, the total current assets. Okay, so let's start to uh, solve the problem. In accounting, we have uh, accounting equations asset equals liability plus owner's equity. Under assets, we have uh, current assets, we have uh, pro uh, property planted equipment, we have intangibles, etc. But the problem is required you only to provide how much is the current assets to be presented in financial statement or in balance sheet. Okay, it will be give me the cash. Is it asset? Yes, this is assets. And this is current asset? Yes. Current assets are those cash and other assets which can be converted into uh, cash uh, within one year or less. So it will be part of the current assets. Mortgage payable? No, this is liability. This is actually long term liability. So we will drop this. And dividends payable? These are uh, dividends payable arises if the company approved to uh, distribute dividends but not yet released so you have to record the uh, temporarily under liability if not yet released at the time of preparation of financial statement but this is the liability so we will not consider here okay prepaid rent are those rent which is uh, paid in advance but not yet incurred the expenses is not yet incurred so this is as simple as deposits to the, to the uh, tenant so we will uh, include as uh, current assets inventory of course this is should be part of the current assets because uh, this is uh, can be sold in the ordinary course of business sinking fund is it um, uh, assets Yes, this is assets, but this is non-current assets. Although this is cash, but this cash is restricted uh, to fund for the sinking fund. Or like for example, you have bonds payable due in 20, uh, 2022. So you allocate the uh, fund on the um, uh, maturing bonds payable. And uh, this is restricted and you cannot use in the day-to-day uh, -day operation or the normal course of business. So we will not consider this as a current assets. Short-term investment, uh, short-term investment are those investments uh, that can be converted into cash within one year or less. So we will consider this as current assets. Investment in associates, investment in associates are investment or long-term investment to other company which have a significant influence. So in a way. But, uh, uh, and usually calculated based on equity method but uh, although this is asset but we cannot consider as current this is a non-current asset so we will drop this and taxes payable this is tax due to the government so at the time of preparation of financial statement um, you still not yet settle this so uh, this is uh, uh, recorded under uh, current liability but uh, for for this problem, we would not consider because we are looking for current assets. Accounts payable, which this is uh, payable from your supplier in your ordinary course of business, but this is payable, we cannot consider as uh, in our uh, problem. And the accounts receivable, of course, we have to consider this because this is um, receivable from your uh, customers. So the business cycle is uh, if you sold inventory, uh, it will come to receivable and eventually it will come to cash. Okay, but that is very uh, in a short span period only. Or the, what the, what I mean is is this is an ordinary uh, business activity. Okay, once you uh, identify the current assets in your problem, and uh, we have to get only the total. 
So we have cash of 5,000. We have prepaid rent, rent of 3,000. We have inventory of 75,000. We have short term investment of 3,000. And we have accounts receivable of 35,000. Then you will get 148,000. This is the current asset you have to uh, present in your uh, balance sheet under current assets. Okay? For problem number two, we will I will give you the problem number two and uh, try to solve in your own. And once you get the answer, um, write your answer in the comment section of this video. And in the next video, we will uh, try to solve. Uh, we will solve uh, together 